<laughs> Welcome to the first edition of Basement Quality Storytime. Joining us are Anna. Speak up. Hey. Taha. Oh, so droll. Oh. Nathan. <laughs> are you mocking my accent? Stone. No. Oh, I'm going. So I'm going to buy and sell you, you plebeian. <laughs> <laughs> and me, Pat. Uh, so, a couple things. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Um, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. Oh, dude, I'm so black. This. Too black. <laughs> Strong. Was a uh, in sixth grade, we had to write a story, and now we have to read it to you. <laughs> yes, um, they actually bound the book and everything. That's my and own. it was uh, that's mine. And yeah, it was me in sixth grade. I was twelve. No. So. So, uh, I scanned it into a PDF just now. <laughs> yeah. Spent a good, like, it's, half hour doing it. It was all in Japanese. We had to scanulate it. So <laughs> yeah. We're doing this so we can avoid copyrights. <laughs> and, like, we... We couldn't get past the first page. Yeah. When we were trying to read it, and we knew we had to do this for the show. <laughs> <laughs> so... Written and illustrated by me. Pat Frazier from the Frazier Publishing company. company. That is a definite. You had a company thing. before this, and you didn't fucking say something. <laughs> you you say son of a bitch. <laughs> 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 and uh, okay, so for the most part, this is an original tale. Uh, the characters are uh, well. Ishtaria is the. Uh, Name of the world in Vandal Hearts. Uh, your, the main character, Horatio, is based on Ash from Vandal Hearts. And the character, Diego, is based on Diego from Vandal Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I spent all my creative juices coming up with one person's name being swapped out. And then the other guy, I just was like, fuck it. <laughs> He's got to go in tomorrow morning. <laughs> oh god, I this is due tomorrow. I got to get this in. Yeah. So, this book is dedicated to my mom and dad for the love they gave to me before. Yeah, the, the before first, the incident. But yeah. It was they stopped we're we're not on speaking terms anymore. <laughs> <laughs> You've all been an inspiration to me throughout the years. I love you. Copyright 2002 by me. I love Pat. you too, book. And uh it wasn't really copyrighted. This is uh, this is public domain right now. Yeah, you can get a piece of the uh, Ishtaria verse. <laughs> oh. Yeah, they, they they continue. It's hot right now. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 up there with Fifty Shades of Grey and uh and and Harry Potter <laughs> fan fiction. Fan yeah. fiction, yeah. <laughs> If you want to quote it for your research paper, it's okay. You don't have to even put his name in it. No, you have to <laughs> cite this. <laughs> I require citations. And you have to read it exactly as it's written in front of your class. Yeah, you actually have to cite it uh, cite, cite it via the YouTube video. Please. Yeah. Please, <laughs> please. Like with timestamps and everything. Please someone in college do this. Please. Please, I I send a video to <laughs> in <Brainfall>. MLA <laughs> MLA format and send it to Jay Higgins at our brain folder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay, so usually the illustrations are on the left, and the writing is on the right. Um, uh, I did it. I scanned it in reverse order because I wanted to show the pictures after, after. you read it. Horatio is a battle knight with silver armor that reflects the sun so brightly. So goddamn brightly. It fucking hurts. I wish we could get Samuel Jackson to read an audio tape. Yeah. Of of this. God, I would die. <laughs> his neck, his thick black hair hides the scar shaped like a dragon on his scalp. So he had, he had 
has a scar shaped like a dra- did did someone like cut an exacto knife up? Yeah, there? they just walked up to him like hold still, hold still for a second, it's gonna hurt ring. Yeah, 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 just don't don't squirm. <laughs> Oops, I got a little bit too Horatio's yeah, golden sword was glowing through his royal blue sword case on his belt. Fuck. Uh they cut that part out. Of course. <laughs> 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 um when Alacrian, Alacrian, like, look at that, it's, like, it's, it's, it's spelled, spelled with a C-H, but, so that you know how to spell it, so you don't call it Alatrian. It's, I, not, I, it's not Alatrine. <laughs> I, I, I do, I do like if you look at it, like, and squint a little bit, it says, it says attack, attackrian. Yeah. <laughs> when Alacrian soldiers, led by the evil Arakin, attack, he acts quickly, Violently and harshly. Damn! So he you... just he just finds out that they're around and he just goes ape shit and just Horatio, turn it down a couple notches. It's the <laughs> first page. You know, yeah. it's gonna be up at eleven right away. <laughs> you don't need to be so quick, violent, and harsh. You got, you got you got to be Ashra's wrath, like just all the way at eleven right away, and just like kick it back to one, like right after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when his companion, Diego, is in trouble, he cares and gets him out of there. Only when he's in trouble. If he doesn't, he's just like, I have fucking give a shit. not give a shit. He's like, oh yeah, remind me of your name again. <laughs> he at least gave a care. When Horatio was in front of he the pulls king, black dynamite. he acts casually. <laughs> <laughs> What's great is when I was writing this, I did not know what casually meant, and I thought it was the opposite of casually, as in formally. But he's, so, 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 he's, so he's walking up there, and he's like, he's like, he's like, today we shall don our blades. And he sees the king, he's like, I was so okay. He's either signed on last like, night, jean shorts, <laughs> and a t-shirt, and he's like, king, what shorts. are the happy hats? Takes out, like, spray on cheese, and sprays it right into his gloved hand, and he goes, the leading tower of cheese, ah, and he slams it into his face. <laughs> and then he, like, leaves, Diego asks him, like, all right, uh, what did what did the king say to you? Oh, he said we must be quick as the night. Oh, yeah. We must have all the force of a raging, raging typhoon. Yeah. <laughs> all the strict the raging fire. Also, he's usually ready for battle. Yeah, not always. I mean, it's the most of the time. You know, that's, that's unreasonable. He's, he's too gotta casual. sleep sometimes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You gotta sleep sometimes. You got you got you gotta pee sometimes. You gotta. You I know. mean. You, know, there, you can catch him slipping sometimes. When you're, yeah. you know, when you run into the forest to take a duke, you're not exactly ready for battle. So <laughs> yeah, you gotta take your armor. He's still off. armed, but yeah, you gotta you gotta bend over and like make sure that the poop doesn't like get in your pants. Yep. And like you know. Kick me my brown pants. <laughs> gets me Horatio brown. negotiates treaties with other nations, and when he gets enraged, his left eye squints. <laughs> That totally unrelated to the first thing. <laughs> yeah. They're all one sentence because you're just <laughs> rushing through this, so the teacher gets gets off your fucking back. Yeah, there were there was like a sentence limit or something, and I was just like, "All right, fill it in." Yeah. Whew. So that's the first page. Got through that just fine. Wow. I uh, well, I kind of screwed up the scanning, so I just put it in again. That, Look at that river of blood. Just, that, that's Horatio right there. Just, like, flowing up to him of all of his fallen, like, adversaries. Just just pulling at his feet. He's so pissed. He's like, I fucking hate adversaries. Written <laughs> and illustrated by me. <laughs> I'm very proud of this. He's so going, far, so good. <laughs> so, when does he go Bonkai? So far, so <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> His part... I kind of screwed this one up, but whatever. You can His, see, like, your hand right there, too. <laughs> yeah. That yep. sounded great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the beginning, I, I was kind of fucking up the story. <laughs> His partner, Diego, was walking loyally by Horatio's side <laughs> with his red bandana. Yeah, he, he had it with him yeah, in his hand. Or something? Yeah, loyally just kind of implies that he's on like a, a chain, a choker chain. I, or I in Horatio Ra- maybe a dog. He may just be someone who's or in the bondage. Diego, Diego. Maybe yeah, a dog. I was thinking Hor- oh, yeah. Horatio was just like heel, heel, and Diego was like <laughs> he's like a full grown man in armor. Yeah, like, and yeah. red bandana. Yeah, and, yeah, and a bandana, bandana that he's holding. Yeah. Like, I, I like how he just mentioned that his red bandana is there. He has a red bandana, you know. 
like not that he's wearing it, not that it's wrapped around his head. It's just, his, it's his favorite chew toy. He, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they were returning from the violent battle of Extoria. God, Extoria yeah. is always fucking shitty placed beard yeah. stuff, man. You really gotta exfoliate your skin. Gotta <laughs> exfoliate your skin. <laughs> exfoliate. Exfoliate. <laughs> Being the only survivors, they return to their country of Ishtar. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what you do when you're the only survivor. <laughs> well, I mean, well, I mean, they just walk around killing everyone there. I, I mean, fucking love these sentences because it's like sixth grade English, but the worst. Yeah, yeah I like the is, I don't care sixth grade English. Did they win the battle <laughs> or no. the war? Well, no. they were the that's only it. survivors. Well, we'll so, uh, hang on. We'll see where I this. Need, that's what they call I need a plot, pure Pat, victory. I need plot. <laughs> this needs more substance. <laughs> Hey, okay. so you know the gl the glare from the scanner kind of looks like the state of Minnesota. You know, kinda it kind of does. does. <laughs> Whoa! So that's what the fuck is that? <laughs> a stomach? That's Extoria. Oh, it was Extoria. Oh, it was. The, the, I got the flag is burning. <laughs> <laughs> and Diego's got his like douchey smile. Horatio's mad and. We'll, he'll soon be able to act casual, but... Why did we decide to he'll get... He'll be in front of the king. Why, <laughs> yeah. He's just like, why did we decide to get shoes that split our feet in half? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck was I think that? What is that? They're uh, like they, bug they, they people to, or something, to, I don't know. No, no. They just had to swim to Extoria. Those are flippers. <laughs> <laughs> Shark fin flippers for <laughs> torpedo power. I love that they had to swim through a river of blood out of Astoria. <laughs> like, they just... <laughs> and Astoria had stink lines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It just They're smelled like smelly shit. And very tiny smelly city. Yeah. <laughs> they were the only survivors. I hope they were the only soldiers. <laughs> Even there. Because uh, they can barely fit. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. They realized that the battlefield was too small, so they all went home. <laughs> The king had a soldier call. <laughs> what? <laughs> the king had a soldier call. You know, like when you do, you know, when you do soldier call. You hit the big intercom button, and you go, "Everyone, get in here!" <laughs> Did the king pick up his cell phone? His yeah. razor, Motorola. He, no, he, no, he paged them. Soldiers, <laughs> yes, Charlie. Yeah. Their beep, all the soldiers' beepers went off, and then just yeah. ran in. The soldier yeah. is just his secretary. Only Horatio and Diego King came. <laughs> well, why can't anyone else come? <laughs> because it's they're in front of the king. Oh, Only yeah. Only Horatio right. and Diego are that casual. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just fucking wanking off a river in front of the king. Just like, hey, king, about to jizz. What's up? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Oh, I'm at my peak right now. <laughs> no. How about you win? He's like, I'm running the country. Thank you. <laughs> Could you stop squirting on my goddamn fucking rugs? <laughs> Get the fuck out there and protect the kingdom? Yeah, dude. So, the king asks, where are all the others? Diego says, lay down on the sled. <laughs> what? They're because I knew that was an expression that meant dead, so I just threw it in there. Laid out on the slab. That's uh, fucking <laughs> rad. Horatio said, dead. The king, <laughs> Thanks, the king said nervously, there was a war waged against the black. Horatio is just like explaining for Diego. <laughs> that, I love that. <laughs> so Diego's he, he, just like. He, he means they're dead. <laughs> But Diego like, said... That. No, no, he's explaining it for the king, like the king's an idiot. Yeah. He's just like... Diego's just like, they're laid out on the slab. And then he raises like, they're, they're dead. <laughs> he, he, he means to say that they're dead? Yeah. So, sorry about that. Because he's being casual. He's, he's, be, he's, he's being a little... You know, he's I, a little too casual. Right yeah. Diego's a little bit more casual than Horatio is. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> king said nervously... There was a war waged against the Lacria and Ashtaria, and I only have two soldiers. Oh, fuck. Oh, Heck. Oh, <laughs> Diego replied, Don't worry, we'll kick the stuffing out of them. It's so, like, they the murder all the time, but they won't swear. They'll just be like, We'll kick the stuffing out, and they're gonna say, We're gonna fuck their shit apart. Like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, they're playing hockey. <laughs> This is them oh, casually man. talking to the king. Oh, it's the king! Oh, I thought that was like a the king have round feet, but they have claws. <laughs> well, because they're from the planet Bug. Gotcha. 
There's a bug planet where they had the big look at that bug throne. And bug the Mars. And the, yeah, Bug Mars. I thought it was a tank look at that or something. Lannister throne over yeah. there. You got the fucking like the the, the the what was it? The Iron Throne? Yeah, something, something like that. that. Like the one with all the swords. Yeah, was forged by a dragon. Horatio and Diego marched into Alacria, and there were cannons blasting. Bang! They were thwinking, thwinking sounds all over the place. What? There were thwinking and sounds. And shortly after, arrows flew. Because <laughs> part of the assignment was put onomatopoeia in it. Use onomatopoeia, and you're like, alright, this page is assigned to onomatopoeia. <laughs> exactly. I, look, I, look look at all this. The shing of swords were enough to drive even the most tolerant <laughs> people crazy. <laughs> so, like, so, so, like... So, like, some people so, are like, you know what? I accept people of all races and colors. And all of a sudden you just hear, Shh. Fuck, I'm Jews! <laughs> I'm so mad that black people can vote. <laughs> Why? You're just like, Those farms belong to us whiteies. <laughs> Ahoy there, whitey. <laughs> You're just awake at night like, Ching, ching. Shing, shing, ah! <laughs> yeah. You best stop believing in be- poorly written sixth grade essays, because you're in one. <laughs> <laughs> the Alacrian flag was raised as the cannonballs flew and swords swung. Swang like a one There were up. bright flames everywhere as the burning smoke... <laughs> the smoke doesn't burn. It does. Crept it's just into- a product of the burning. It is a product. No, 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 this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> this page, I wipe my ass with you. <laughs> Hogan, I wipe my ass with this. <laughs> I will fuck you up. I will put my fingers in your asshole <laughs> and probe your taint with my thumb. And I will ejaculate you, Hogan. <laughs> I will oh, punch Hogan. a prostate, Hogan. I'm sorry, this is really fun movement. to be the Iron Sheik and just say gay shit about all Because <laughs> he did all he the did time. All the He'd be like, I'll fuck you in the ass, <laughs> Horn Hogan. I, I just feel like he didn't know what he was saying. He must not have until later when he totally should know, and he still does it anyway. <laughs> See, Iron Sheik's a weird ass, like, person that he's still the Iron Sheik af- long after he's been done wrestling. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, where was I? Soon after, the burning metal smell dropped in. Oh. There, like from a there were sharp pains from warfare stings. <laughs> there were. There were a lot of no, sharp no, hold pains on, hold on. I think, I think, stings. I think I know where he's going with this. Uh, the, it's, have, have you ever, have you ever been, have you ever, have you ever been in a, have you ever been in a warfare, you know, with all the bees? Oh yeah, yeah, Do they bees. get deep, the war bees get deep in your skin? <laughs> And they cause you to have those, like, stingy, ishing rashes. Yeah. So you, have to, you have to find you, the bees out with, get, a, with, yeah. a, with a knife and then apply a and then... Yeah, um, it's, it's, the war, it's, the war, it's the warfare stings, you know, from, yeah. from the warfare queen. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the warfare bees. Not bees. Sure warfare stings. Oh my god, that's killing me. <laughs> <laughs> that slashes and minor like, burns. This came out like this is you know, but it gets really burned. In this. Yeah, this came out before Digital Swordsman, right? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, by oh, like years okay. before. Because that's probably the worst thing I've seen your young self write. <laughs> like the dumbest thing. <laughs> like, like that doesn't even make like there's no explanation in the sentence. Just. It's like being in a warfare area is what you're saying. Just stings. Just you're just getting feeling pain just being near a war. It's it, it's it's sort of like uh, it's sort of like just kind of spraying like hot sauce into the air. Are you tired of warfare stings? Then you could get that out with OxyClean. I'm Billy Mays' best friend, and I'm going to tell you why you should trust me. Now rub this shit out, this sab on your oh. dick, and you won't have any warfare stings anymore, mate. Trust me. I am. I am tearing up here, dude. 1995, well, like, I guarantee. You guys need to vote for me. Am I actually tearing no, up? No, he is <laughs> fucking sweating and tearing up. <laughs> oh, and my like, God. Like, bleeding a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> actually, yeah. Oh, shit. You actually have no, I, no, I, I, I pick up my fingers. It's an anxiety thing. But, <laughs> but sharp pains from warfare. <laughs> 
<laughs> slashes <laughs> okay. and, and minor burns. <laughs> like, like no one gets really burned in Alacria. I mean, d- d- despite the, the the bright fires that were burning <laughs> and the burning smoke, it's not very burning. Smoke. And the burning. Yeah, we're basically in hell right now. But no people are are near those things. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're near them, but not too near. I'm just touching that. Mean, there was the bitter taste of the battlefield as the battle rages on. Because that that was another thing. We were supposed to have, like, senses. Like, the five senses. Yeah, part yeah, of yeah. It. So I know there's what you're like, talking about. Like, so we had to be, like, describe the smells of things. Like, yeah. And... And I guess the feels. There were sharp pains from the first thing. I, he, he I, I, I like, it I like, so hard, he could taste it. Yeah. <laughs> I, but there was a bitter taste the, of the battle. Like the fog of war. Did you just eat the grass? Did, or did you just eat the battle? Field? He just picks like, up some guys. of the dirt. He's like, that's war right there. Mm, yeah, I know war, war, and that is. Classic war. <laughs> I taste war up there. Tastes like crappy grapefruit. So this is the depiction of all that shit. <laughs> oh, where are oh. the bright flames, huh? Oh, the where are the war? The no, all the white is the bright flames. <laughs> so you're sta- that's uh, where the okay. warfare things come from. You're standing in a raging fire, and your armor is searing to your flesh, causing minor burns. <laughs> <laughs> well... Cause like when I was trying, also you have a cannon for a leg. I'm trying. I'm going to try real hard to justify minor burns real quick. <laughs> it's because I got burned before, and I was like, "Damn, I can't have major burns in this because I know how bad minor burns hurt." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I see what you're saying, but just no. <laughs> I know, but anyway, here's here's something I want to point out. Does, is, did you did at any point uh, his leg get removed and replaced with a cannon? Uh, that's supposed to be in the foreground, but yes, it got replaced because with a he is now kicking his way up that wall. Dude, with, like he's a fucking... uh, uh, oh god, grindhouse. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, it was been going. Yeah. <laughs> like just fucking like just uh, death proof or whatever. Yeah, where she's just shooting the fucking gun. She just leg. has a. Like huge gun for it, like a AK forty seven, like M four or whatever for a leg. Yeah, but like, but like, I love the idea of like rocket jumping <laughs> with a cannon leg. Yeah, he's like, like that should work. be a class in like Team Fortress two or something called Cannon Leg. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't when worry, you, when you when you wield your your cannon leg, you can't actually move. Don't worry, I'll scale this wall of periods. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready to proceed. Proceed. Oh no! I didn't know <laughs> you wrote. Oh, oh the no, you're talking about. They saw very many soldiers, and Diego said, <laughs> "Crips, <laughs> cripes, cripes." <laughs> so, <laughs> so these, what? so these, Cripes. like the soldier that said we laid him out on the slab is the same one who like puts his fists up next to his mouth and goes, "Cripes." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> like who the. F- where did I ever hear that word? <laughs> like, I don't. Did know. I just make that word up? Uh, did you mean to say cripes? Uh, like <laughs> cripes, but you spelled it cripes. Oh god damn! No, I I I guarantee well, I meant to say this. Like, I was a very stupid child. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, so so cripes are kind of kind of big and dumb, but cripes are adorable. <laughs> they are fucking adorbs. Oh, they're so creepy. They're just cute. So, so Horatio said, "What? I didn't know there would be this many soldiers. I wouldn't have volunteered just us two to do it. <laughs> I would have called more people. Like the, I should have, <laughs> like to a like war. all the army that we don't have anymore. So that's why the that's why the warfare is stinging because they just everyone is attacking two people. <laughs> <laughs> if I had known there was this many well, people, I would have very see, casually asked the king to help us out. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, you're you the, see, the only other person. The thing about the Alacrian army is it's a classic case of too many cooks in the kitchen spoil the broth. Because <laughs> 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 too many cooks might spoil the broth, but they will fill our hearts with so much, so much love. That's yeah. true. Too many cooks. Too many cooks. <laughs> wow. I get this. How long ago was that, anyway? That was months ago. It was months. <laughs> it had to have been, like, November, December, yeah. something like that. If they feel all all right, right, with um, so, so much blood. <laughs> Your blood. And warfare stings. <laughs> warfare stings. <laughs> 
fuck? <laughs> At the top of the biggest rock in the battlefield stood the evil Alacrian leader, Arakin. Arakin is the arch enemy of Horatio and Diego. Oh, thank you. Except for, like, previously when ex- the Extorian leader was the arch enemy. Yeah. I- until they laid that shit to rest. <laughs> He, he has a scaly green tail and red eyes and black steel armor. Nice. What an African American steel armor, huh? Also, I remember, like, because we had to have a certain length, uh, well, like we had to like fill pages and stuff for this assignment. Yeah. Th- like these are very vague things I remember. Uh, they told me I could t- put two spaces, but like after a period, because that was fine. So I did it everywhere except there. I should have done it there, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, there's not a space there, so the period's, like, too yeah. damn close. So it's kind of weird. And, and, like, I have kept that with me all the way through all of my college, like, through my two-year degree and everything. I've always been putting two spaces after periods to, like, artificially inflate my papers to make them seem longer yeah. by a very small degree. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I do this? He leads the Alacrian Knights with two sharp-edged boomerangs Hold made on. from platinum. Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. He's the fucking, like, arch enemy, and he's holding, like, the wackiest weapon you could fucking have. And not only that, one that wouldn't goddamn work because it weigh, would weigh, like, 30 pounds. Yes, <laughs> made from platinum. <laughs> It doesn't make any fucking like, like why? Why not would steel? Why? Why not? Not even steel, like aluminum. Like yeah, why not well, something actually light enough to make a boomerang out of? That's like, why. That's why like famous rappers are so dangerous because all their records are platinum. <laughs> <laughs> And also they start fires when they drop their mixtape. Yeah. Oh, and shit. They, and they create minor burns. <laughs> yeah, minor and warfare stings. <laughs> <laughs> well, urban warfare stings. <laughs> urban warfare stings, dude. You know, it's sad for that uh, shit. W- uh, okay. Uh, when Horatio and Diego's hearts unite, Arakin can do- be defeated easily. So, like, do they hold hands? Okay! I, yeah. drop that, like, I drop that now. This yeah. is, like, the third page? No, fourth? <laughs> that their that their heights, hearts, their heights, their hearts can unite and become, like, one person, just Horatiego. Funny story. When Arakin oh, is shit. hit by darkness, he gets hurt very little. <laughs> he has passive resistance to darkness. Like yeah. darkness is like a spell, like <laughs> <laughs> he acts in an evil way. He advances his troops and says, Good night, Horatio. Not Diego, you're you're good. You're good, Diego. Diego, you're fine, I'm not gonna <laughs> He act, like just throw away any pretense of trying to build this guy up. He acts in an evil way. <laughs> if you didn't know, he's... The guy's a bad guy. He's what does a... this guy look like, you might ask? Oh, he's you! In a river of blood! Yep, right. Or a sure. mouth! Those are those platinum boomerangs he's so famous for having. They look kind of like... just. should have given him cer- chakram. Yeah, they look like Chakram, yep. actually, yeah. That's actually probably they, what I meant them to be, they, they, but I didn't know what like, they were like, called. Like, you, know, yeah. you know what the weapon Xena uses is called? <laughs> yeah, I watched a lot of Xena around Holy this time. Holy shit, I recently watched, like, the first episode of Xena the how, Warrior. How was it? Oh, that show was so garbage! Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. I kind of want to watch it now, just to see how bad it is. Because like, it was comparison. around the time I was <clears throat> writing this, when I was playing a lot of Vandal Hearts and watching a lot of Xena. Yeah, yeah. Xena Warrior Princess. Yep. Tits and armor. Yep. Lucy Lawless. She can fly. According to Simpsons. <laughs> Horatio and Diego knew they were capable of destroying an entire army, but this was too much. It was an entire army, for God's sake. Yeah, for fuck's sake. I had warfare stings at the time. I, <laughs> my head wasn't in the right place. I was just casually talking to the king. All these warfare stings just re- had me really emotionally <laughs> off balance. Yeah, I, I was like, guys, guys, I, I can't do this. It's just too much. I it was winter. Crazy. I wasn't feeling motivated. Yeah, my, my seasonal affective, like, <laughs> depression was coming in. I hadn't slept too well the previous night. Yeah. Just coming off a cold. <laughs> stung with cuts. And what? were pierced with a sword that was painful enough to defeat the most powerful of Warriors. They so, got warfare stings. So, wow! So hold on. So, in addition to being stung with just battle in general, 
<laughs> and also being lightly burned and toasted, you know, to perfection. Yeah. Or it's a golden brown. Uh, they were also being stung with cuts. <laughs> so, like, somebody was coming up with their wounds and rubbing their wounds so fast across their skin that, that it giving cut, them, that like, skin them, cuts. They, no, that it was stinging yeah, like, their skin. Yeah, Just, that's yeah, what like, I mean. Like, yeah, like, paper cuts, like, but with skin. But, like, using their, like, own cuts. Because if you rub your cut on someone else's skin, it'll give them cuts. It's communicable that way. Yeah. Then they get, like, HIV. It's a bad scene. Yeah, and then also they got pierced with a sword that just, like, was all, like, bent and jagged and had, like, fucking... Like, it was a stop sign, basically. It could kill kill the most powerful of warriors, but they were... Two hours later, they woke up in a healing magician's base... I am a magician. <laughs> now watch the. Now I watch my. It has satellite dishes on the top, and, like, yeah. he's, <laughs> and he's got like, a scrobbler of like shit going on in like Alacri- and Extoria and all that shit. Yeah. I like to imagine he has like a, like a deck of cards. He just sits it out in front of you and just goes like, "Pick a card." But I'm bleeding from my <laughs> chest. Pick a card, and you'll be fine. All right. What is, like, is your card the two of hearts? Yeah. It's the three of diamonds! Yeah, he's not a wizard. He's just He's just magician. like a magician. <laughs> like, uh, like, cheap parlor tricks is all he can do. And, like, he asks, how did you get this wound? He said, well, one guy rubbed his wound against mine, and then the magician goes, ah, that must have stung. He, he, he's That's... got some first aid training, but otherwise it's just, like, rabbits out of hats, yeah. fucking scarves no, out no. of his mouth. <laughs> Yeah, he's CPI he like, certified. He like, he, like barf, he like barfs up a stethoscope, and it's like at the end of a huge scarf. He's doing like magician stuff yeah. till he gets his. He's doing magician stuff till he gets his CPA, and he's just like, they're like, he's like magicianing is just a side thing until I finally, you know, you know, get my kind of get into the medical field. But yeah, so you know. Get my Watch, he's like, he's like oh, if you could, if you could hold this ring for me, he just holds it, he like taps it, and the rings like connect together. Ta-da! Also, you might have cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Your insurance doesn't cover all of this, so we'll have to uh, pay out of pocket for the rest of it. <laughs> they decided to make a plan. The cannons didn't have any way to guard themselves, <laughs> except for the two knights guarding them. So Horatio decided to defeat the cannons first. Horatio oh. said, Why bother? <laughs> Why bother? Why fucking try? They're cannons! <laughs> Fuck. Diego is such Horatio a replied, We can shoot the cannons. But the- Diego counter replied, We can't hit them all. But he's got a cannon. They ended up doing it. And sure enough, Diego was right. Some soldiers got through and attacked them. Wow. But, these, but he's got a cannon for a leg. Why does he just, like, shoot them with his own leg? Just kick cannonballs at them. Just win that way. I really love the why, bo- like, we'll defeat the cannon. We'll defeat the cannons. Why yeah. bother? He's just, oh. why? <laughs> You can't hurt cannons. Cannons can't feel pain. <laughs> I, I love how, like, wishy-washy these, like, brave warriors are that they send after, like, an entire army. They're just like, should we beat the army? Eh. <laughs> yeah, let's beat the army now. But the next page, eh. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like... Like, this is clearly a product of you just trying to, like, padding this out so it lasts longer. Yeah, well, like, one, one thing they said, uh, they say every good story has three attempts. Oh, like, uh, oh yeah, like they try. Oh, yeah, like uh, like this. That's what my teacher said, and so I was like, okay, I'll, because I was just trying to go by what the teacher is saying. So I just kind of was like, okay, so they fail the first time. I'm gonna have them fail again for some reason. Uh, they, and they're like failing again is really them just giving up because they didn't want to try. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think that's true. Yeah, not every no, good story has three attempts. I agree. It's not true. I, I feel that Ishtaria would have been a much stronger narrative if yeah, they, just, they went and beat them up and went home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, stronger narrative. Like this. But, yeah. yeah. I think it's funny how, like, Diego's saying, like, the cannons are, like, can't, they can't defend themselves. Like, they're so innocent. Like, why <laughs> even try to defeat them? I mean, come We're on. just gonna look like the bad guys. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. were not gonna win the hearts and minds of the, uh, what? We're gonna run in there. Alacrians. The cannons are gonna cry. She like would attack an innocent, defenseless cannon. <laughs> you heartless monster! <laughs> so, so this is them formulating a plan. 
the fuck is that? The healing that? wizard. Is, is that Link getting? I'm oh, sorry, up? the healing magician. Yeah, not a wizard. I Very summon the healing magician. magician in attack mode. Apparently, Diego also kind of Diego. Yeah, Diego's uh, totally cool. The like the green strap on in the lower left. Yeah, corner. They, they were they were getting. <laughs> he, he's actually got his like robe was kind of open, so like that's not a wizard. That's just like oh, that's like something that's supposed a, to be his beard. <laughs> That, it looks like his robe is just kind of open and he's getting ready yeah. for some, like, you know, rubbing <laughs> to that, like, small child version of fucking Horatio that's just yeah. shrunken down onto this mystical enchanted also, bed. why are they both, like, have Hispanic names? I don't know. It's, I mean... Like, Ishtaria doesn't it, sound Hispanic. Nope. No. Or of any kind, like Spanish. It's, it sounds more like, like, uh... Fuck. It makes me want to jizz. Yeah. It's supposed no? to be. Horatio woke up in the magician's base again, and he said in pain, "Arg!" Because it, the magician's inside him. Diego said, "You finally wake up. We should get power from a fairy." Diego suggested. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the worst D and D group ever. It's like like there's just two guys playing, and they're just like, "We can't." He's like, "We gotta fight an army." It's just like, and it's like. Well, this is a fantasy game. We should get power from a fairy. Yeah, let's find a fairy. And it's like, you guys gonna look for a fairy? Yeah, where do we find a fairy? Well, it's gonna take a fucking quest because you're like in the fucking mountains somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck do you think a fairy's gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, Diego, fairies don't exist. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just reek of my brain. Diego's like, oh, we finally woke up. Like, I know you're in pain and everything, but can we, like, go look for a fairy really quick? Yeah. Like, we need some of that stuff. We kind of need the fairy right now for this. We need to get his power. I like how Diego just suggests that. He's just like, well, <laughs> fairies are a thing. Look, we'll, we'll, we'll run out, we'll break some pots, find a fairy, trap it in a bottle, and just keep it on our person so that when we die, it'll just, we'll, just, we'll just come back to the bottle. <laughs> and so, Pep, what happened with this page where it's like, like, Five lines. Well, like, they just let us do it. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, is what happened. <laughs> <laughs> you see a teacher's note, like, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, just F minus. <laughs> yeah, so F minus. Look how mad he is about what that wizard did to him. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's literally like, my butt he, he's just still on that thing. He's just staring at it. And I like how Diego's just like, I can't believe I sat here and watched. <laughs> I could have gone. My bow was so... right there the whole time. I could have stopped. I can't believe it. I stood there and did nothing. God, <laughs> silence is worse than to just be. Go... All it takes for evil to succeed is for good men to do nothing, and yeah. that's exactly what I did. I stood, <laughs> and I'm not even a good man. I don't even have very good feet. <laughs> <laughs> They got, like, boomerangs for feet. They ventured to the cave, but it was just a rock. <laughs> well, I bet you feel stupid now, don't you, Diego? <laughs> He's walking up to a cave, it's like a painting, like, on the rock, like, it's like Wile E. Coyote style. And there's, like, the villain twirling his mustache, like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah Ari comes in the back, just like, <laughs> It's like, damn it, it was a wall again. Fuck. I was, like, really confused, I was like, wait, why did this go to a cave? Like, where, where's the plot development? Well, because <laughs> the next thing, Horatio and Diego solved a puzzle-like thing. Okay. okay. So there was, With like, no hyphen, just yeah. puzzle-like thing. Pu the puzzle likes the thing. <laughs> yeah. And the rock turned into a cave. The it rock did. turned into a okay. cave. Can you smell the cave <laughs> that I'm cooking in? <laughs> I've... That first, like, line just cracks me up. They ventured to the cave, but it was just a rock. It's like, let us go to the cave. And it's just, like, a big boulder. Like, there's no, like, mountain around it. It's a boulder. Yeah, it's just, oh, I thought it was a cave. From a distance, it's kind of, you know. Well, it's just a big-ass rock. Horatio and Diego didn't know Arakin's weakness. Probably just stabbing him. Yeah, it yeah probably nobody said. Probably Nobody, being killed. It was never with weapons because they never people. <laughs> it was never, never tried. It was never specified that he has some kind of enchanted reason why he cannot be killed by <laughs> yeah, normal means. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He, he doesn't take much damage from dark dark attacks. Yeah, yeah. They, they just decided let's get a fairy. If his weakness is not dark attacks, then you could always try the other way and then fail horribly. Yeah, or you could yeah. use physical damage and probably just kill him because he's a yeah. human. Yeah. No, he's got a tail. Up first. Okay, he's a. He's some kind of thing. Whatever. He's, he's a can, thing. He, he's got flesh. 
I'm sure you can cut through him with the sword. He's super strong and super naked. Okay, so... <laughs> Somebody said he's got flesh, so I just... <laughs> you just, Very good. You just extrapolated. That. I extrapolated yeah. that to, you know... If he's, if he's got flesh, that means he could be super, naked. And super strong as well. Yeah. Diego fearfully called, not knowing if the fairy was there or not. Um, uh, fairy, I, um, sort of wanted to ask you if, um, Horatio... Is he, like, turned on by the fairy or some shit? Borrow some power. B-b-b-b-baka? Don't don't say nice things about me, fairy (laughs) Like, Diego's like, oh, I have one shot. I have one shot, don't mess this up. (laughs) It's like trying to ask, like, your mom for money when you're, like, when you're, like, ten years, like, can I have, like... Ten bucks, so I can go go get some ch- chips. I'll I'll ten share bucks. it with you. I'll share it with you. I swear. But I just need some ten bucks because I really want these chips. Like, like you feel bad. guilty that you just want to get something. Yeah. And then she's like, "Okay, here you go." And you're like, "Oh." Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Uh, Horatio told- said to Diego, "You can't tell me you're afraid of fairy." Oh, he's he's afraid of them. <laughs> oh! Diego replies, "What me scared? No, this is like axe cop. Like I'm not afraid of fa- fairies, <laughs> babaka." Oh God, that is awesome. That he they they go to a boulder. I swear, and this they... book is exhausting me. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the depiction of that puzzle-like thing. Oh, it's... Oh! oh. It's just got four pieces that just stick together, and so it's So I wouldn't obvious. call it a puzzle, it's just a no, puzzle-like it's, thing. It's just, yeah. It's, it's similar to a puzzle, but it was not a puzzle. <laughs> it's really... It was pretty easy to figure out. This book is exhausting. So is, that, is, this, a, is this a cave with fairies or bees? Because that doesn't look like... That looks like a bee. Yeah, it looks like a firefly or, or something. firefly, yeah. It's like a bug. The fairy rose from the rock and a huge scream echoed Whoa. within the cave walls as Diego jumped behind Horatio's back. <laughs> what what fucking screamed? What a the fairy, fairy says, think Diego did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Diego screamed. Oh, yeah. Wow, what a pussy. I wrote this. Uh, the, fairy, <laughs> the, fairy, the fairy said, you can certainly borrow some, but you cannot defeat Arik in that way. Wow. Did they never ask the fairy yet what, what they wanted to borrow? Some power. Oh, but they didn't ask, though, yet, did they? Yeah, they did. Um, fairy, I, um, sort of wanted to ask Oh, you yeah, no, you're, you're, you're right, you're, you're right, you're right. But how do you you're know right. about Arkin? Because Magic. it's a fairy. Yeah. Okay, okay cool. That's, a wizard did it. Going. A wizard did it. <laughs> he talked to the magician. The magician. Yeah. He's like, hey, can you watch me? You this cool thing I can do? I can take my thumb off. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I if I reach your behind your ear, here's a quarter. And that, that quarter will cure your AIDS. So <laughs> I knew it. If you ever let go of it, you'll get AIDS again, though. Oh. So just, just like, strap that shit to your dick. <laughs> Horatio wondered aloud, then how do we beat him? The fairy answered with reconciliation. Then he hands him a pamphlet on the Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> The God. Church of Mormon. <laughs> Are you sure you didn't... Are you sure you didn't write this half in seventh grade or oh, something? Oh, shit! No. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Raise your replied with, what? The fairy said, togetherness. All right, do I have to spell it out? <laughs> it's orgy, silly. <laughs> you have to, only the power of group love will get you out of Oz. Can I blow the tin man? Get the fuck. Fuck out of here! <laughs> Shout outs to the, the fucking Wizard of Oz porn. It's uh, hilarious. <laughs> so so he's like the fairy says you you beat him with reconciliation. They're like, what the fuck are you talking about? He's like, oh you fucking idiot, it's togetherness. Duh <laughs> <laughs> So just like Pump each other full of love real quick, and then you'll be able to beat him. Just do it in front of me, while I'm watching. Horatio gave it a stern look and said, Give us the power! Come on, give me the power, come on. And the fairy said, Oh! Oi! Oh! Do I even go? See how silk 
fall through my cock. See, the thing that's amazing now is that all the lines before the fairy had were read like that. Was <laughs> reconciliation, mate. Just like take him on this. Go up the British belly out for you. It's this fairy is the grossest, hairiest <laughs> soccer hooligan, and the fuck wearing a wife beater with like fucking pizza stains. Yeah. Well, I was thinking more like just a like soccer jersey. Or a soccer jersey, but he's got to have beer stains. And, like, oh yeah, puke it's, on it's, his, it's, like... it's a tiny fairy, but it's wearing like a person sized. And he's got jersey. like a huge <laughs> yeah. bald forehead, like just. It looks kind of like a fat Jason Statham. Yeah, it's like yeah. chubby, and he's like holding like a chicken wing instead of like a wand. Yes. <laughs> no fairy, pork chop. Then the fairy gave them power. And this is... That's the fairy giving... Well, Diego the power. Oh, boy. Diego. I'm gonna Diego piss, gets all the power. I'm gonna piss my bloody fairy magic into your mouth hole. Now. Open up, bitch. I'm gonna... F- fuck me, go! I wrote Fiji up with uh, proper fairy power, so now you can go beat the beat the bag, dude. Uh, I'm spit right now, so just give me an hour and I'll get your friend. <laughs> Next thing you know, the warriors are at the Elite Green board. <laughs> Oh, oh it always God happens. They go it. meet the fairy in the man cave. The man they cave. run off, and <laughs> next thing you know, they're at the Alacrian border, trying the to fairy smuggle in the man cave. cocaine. The fairy in the no, man cave sounds like a euphemism for, like, happened. meeting someone in an alley for gay sex. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Alacrian <laughs> wizards shot <laughs> Diego with bubbling green poison. Oh, which, shit! Which hurts Diego much more than any other element. <laughs> 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 so now you are just stealing her vandal arts. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're like, yeah, having, like, elemental <laughs> weaknesses and shit. <laughs> Like, he had armor that was weak to acid, so he, the poison did extra damage. <laughs> yep. Horatio can get hurt as much as Diego if it, he is hit by heat and the torchbearers burnt him. What? There was just a guy... Got, he only got minor burns, though. Yeah, yeah, of course. Doesn't stop the warfare stings, though. It was still too much for Horatio and Diego. So that's the second attempt. <laughs> I see. So is that why Horatio was the one only one passed out at the magician's base because he got minor burns and that is weak that's his weakness? Yes. Okay, cool. Sure. That's canon now. <laughs> <laughs> and I like how there are torch bearers yeah, who are fighting people. <laughs> just holding a torch, just like Because the reason where I got that is there was this toy I had when I was growing up. It was called the Great Event Adventure Castle. It was just this big plastic castle with all these knights. Uh, I think a lot of people will probably remember that if you're a true 90s kid. <laughs> Kids but, these um, days missed out. No, but it was like this. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'll, maybe I'll throw up a picture of it or something. But then there were like little expansions you can get for it. And one of them was like a knight that had a torch. And, I was, like, and that was like his weapon. And I thought, you know, and maybe in medieval times, the torch is just what people would use for combat. <laughs> well, I mean, you can kind of fight with a torch. Yeah. I mean, it's got, like, stuff dripping off it, like fire, <clears throat> oil, and shit. And that's the bubbly green poison, and, <laughs> and him with his hair on fire. <laughs> <laughs> wow. On that dragon-shaped scar on his head, which I'm sure is ever going to come back in this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that'll, that'll come up ever again. The boy with the dragon tattoo. That's what they called it. Horatio and Diego soon woke up in the healer's place. Oh, is it the magician's place? Probably. Or, okay. Yeah. It's yeah, the, the wizard. Okay. It's the wizard, so it's not the magician this time. This well, is magician right there. In, oh. in the next what? sentence. They looked at the wizard and said, hello again. The magician replied sarcastically with, fine warriors indeed. Well, who wants steak? <laughs> Woo. See, the great thing is, like, they're addressing a wizard that's in I the room. I don't appreciate your condescension, <laughs> sir, but I will take that stake. <laughs> no, 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 The best thing, though, is that, like, they're talking to a wi- Like, the wizard that's in the room. There's a magician and a wizard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, they're talking to the wizard, and then, then the magician just pushes him out of the way and goes, Oh, fine, <laughs> warriors, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who wants steak? <laughs> I've been just cooking this son of a bitch up for the past 20 minutes. Yeah. 
I used I used the uh, I used the card trick to make this steak. Diego looked at the plate and drooled and said, <laughs> "This is a Ninja Turtles line here. After getting our butts kicked by Arakin three times, I think we deserve steak. <laughs> what would make you think you deserve steak, Diego? Probably that he got poisoned. We need to get some pizza. <laughs> Poison his weak element, his weakest element. Arakin." Go turn to go out the I wonder door. what his, like, DPS is. That's a good question. 420. <laughs> <laughs> 420 that shit ain't is. poison. That shit's dank. <laughs> Horatio turned to go I out the door, and shit. the wizard said, I'll see you again in 15 minutes. Just 15 Why? I, I will know. see you again, young that, hero. That is... See you again in 15 minutes. That is <laughs> so... Specific? Why? And not like. The magician's like, I know that you're gonna fail in 15 minutes, so just come back like really quick, and then you can go back out again. No, the steaks will be ready in 15. <laughs> yep, that's when the more steak will be ready. He's gonna go kill another cow and you know, get it ready. Diego followed Horatio out the door, eating the steak. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> Horatio uh, <laughs> wondered how he could he unite with, with Diego, Diego and, and Diego, Diego how the cooked cow was so delectable. <laughs> or, this cooked cow is delectable. Because <laughs> I remember, like, they they were saying, don't say the same word too many times. So I was like, what's another word for steak? I don't fucking know. Cooked cow. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna use just beef. <laughs> yeah. After Diego finished, he threw the bones onto into the war zone and knocked out Aragon's favorite but, swordsman. <laughs> didn't he? That was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so like he's like he's like caressing this man in so, armor, and he's just like it's knocked gotta, out. He's like, oh, that was my favorite one. I, I figured that the like magician's base would be pretty far away from the battlefield. But I no. guess like he opens the door and it's just, As is right next like, to it. Just thousands of soldiers just waiting out there. Oh, cool, they're back. Yeah. 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 It's like an it's just like an RPG. They're waiting in their animations for yeah. them to show up so that <laughs> combat can initiate. He just walks out, throws the bone, knocks out the sword. The also, the how are they in a war zone without feeling the war stings? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, they've probably been feeling it the whole time. Ooh, ooh that's brutal. Warfare sting. Warfare sting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> After planning and borrowing power from a fairy, little of the army was defeated. The warriors had the same degree of fury at Arakin that united... Th oh, wow. And yeah. that united them. And that united them. Oh, wow. Horatio the Scar glowed, glowed through this. Th I fucking knew it. Yeah. A dragon, dragon flew overhead and burnt, burnt the, the entire, entire army, army and melted their... Oh, army. shit, that's fucking hardcore. That, yeah. That's fucking actually awesome. <laughs> but like, they're like, only minor burns still. Yeah, they're only <laughs> minor burns. <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at the dragon, like, out in the distance. They're like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I got your back, buddy. <laughs> My scar is gone because it's over there. <laughs> did the scar come off his head or did it, like, <laughs> just summon just a dragon? Like... Okay, because I didn't think that the scar thing came back. It I... did. It totally I, summoned I guess... a dragon. A Dagron. I guess I didn't give myself enough credit. So Burninating they... the countryside. So when they united the first time... When their hearts united, right? Why it didn't did... have... Like, they didn't unite. They, they didn't? Okay, I thought they did. Nope. Oh, oops. He just pulled the dragon tattoo out of his asshole. Okay. And summoned a dragon. Diego Three shot Horatio's sword at at Arakin with his bow. What? <laughs> yeah, he took his sword and drew it back and like, just shot it. That's too heavy. Yep. <laughs> and Arakin said it, uh, sent it right back at Diego. He must have the finger strength of a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> like, he has his platinum boomerangs, remember? Uh, yeah, he does have the platinum bummer ends. Also, uh, do you know where I got the name Arakin from? Where? I got it from Anakin. <laughs> yep. Oh, so he becomes Darth Vader at the end. And yep. Goes, no. <laughs> Horatio ran up to Arakin. Arakin threw his two boomerangs at Horatio, and he blocked them with his sword. Diego picked up the boomerangs. Uh, sorry, picked the boomerangs up, and Horatio slashed Arakin. Horatio's scar glowed, and Horatio's sword glows more brightly, and he hit Arakin. Arakin yelled at the last minutes of life, 
Curses, Horatio. You won't make it past my father, Dovlor. <sighs> oh. <sighs> You're gonna tell my dad? Did you know that <laughs> Dovlor is spelled backward? Like... Is Rolov? Rol? Rol? Rolov? Arkin exploded into his <laughs> into his remains, which into... are pieces of dust. Bright crimson light flew around as Ishtaria had won the battle. Yay! The dragon became the castle's guardian. He protects it from other countries that invade Ishtaria. Sick. Ugh. Ugh. The king saw the warriors return, and he rewarded them by having them be the new Ishtarian warlords. Wait. They're the warlords Hold of on. themselves, <laughs> because there's no Hold. other soldiers. Hold on, yep. so... Hold on, so like... His reward was to make them people who will fight against him, because like they're warlords. <laughs> yeah. They're, then they're, then they are they. Yep. Yeah. Then that means that they're going to <laughs> take all the land they just got. I had that, no idea what warlords really actually were. So basically, the king just saw that they had this big scary dragon. Was like, fine, it's yours. Take take the kingdom. Fucking fucking it, it, yours. <laughs> and he was being really casual, like, hey, hey, hey give me the kingdom, hun. <laughs> get, get, get. Yeah, bro. Just like he gave it to your wife last night. Oh <laughs> high five! And then, like, 80s slow down, like, fucking freeze frame high five. Oh, you <laughs> casual Horatio, you. <laughs> oh, and that's the power of the evil magic he used to, like, rule the kingdom. No, that's Arakin dying. Oh. Oh, okay. I uh, that was just, like, a, a nosebleed. There's the Alacrian flag right. burning. And, yeah. Oh. Oh, dude, that's Meet what you that little like. shit bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Meet the shit bucket. Pat goes to Middle Skull. <laughs> middle Skull. <laughs> like, like, Skull. Like, Skull, like, the freaking, like, the chewing, like, the back. Yeah. Yeah. I, if, if anything sums up this book any better, it's Middle Skull. I think, I think, I think it's, I think it's your smile in this picture. You're just like, yep, that was me. Yep. I'm taking responsibility. <laughs> Pat, uh, he, he was 12 he years old. Middle, yeah. Uh, so he rolled, and his, his birthday is uh, wow. Pat <laughs> and his friends make up games like this book. Oh, just like us. He enjoys putting together. Yeah, we make up games like this. Yeah, putting together like those to make things. things. Okay, <laughs> and he likes his dog named Herbie that wags his tail very hard when he comes home. <laughs> it's like either your mom wrote the last two sentences or you just were fucking dry on ideas. <laughs> yeah, I was just and like, you, just, like, you needed it. two more sentences. There was a meet the off author. What can I say about myself? I don't know, I fucking put together Legos, I guess. Yeah, I, 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 look, I am a child. There's nothing. It's like, There's nothing to tell. It's like, it's like child things, like being like a dating child. It's profile. Yeah. It's like, I like to make Legos. Okay, no, 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 no. That's what we need to do. We're taking this picture and we're oh. making a profile on fucking God. On fucking okay Cupid with that picture. God damn it. <laughs> and just <laughs> says he likes to put things together losing Legos. And he likes his dog. Dog wags his, his tail very hard. <laughs> it's just shit like that for every question. You know, there six was, things I could There do might without. even be hits. <laughs> <laughs> I just like what I'm into. I really like pepperoni pizza my mom makes sometimes on Wednesday. <laughs> I really like, well, Vandal Arts. <laughs> Vandal Arts. <laughs> that... I really like my mom's bean loaf because she's a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> she's a vegan. <laughs> Just like spell it really wrong. And then oh, that's, sh- that's the front cover. God, that's fucking beautiful. Oh, man. Uh. Well, folks. So, if we make our Kickstarter, we can get this sent out. For everyone. <laughs> everyone get a Please. copy of it. For go the to, sake of art. <laughs> go to go to kickstarter.com and search for uh, Ishtaria. And uh, don't, 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 don't. It, it, it doesn't exist. Five, <laughs> if it does exist, it was by someone who isn't us. Five dollars <laughs> will get your name. <laughs> On 
the, just your name. The meet the author page. <laughs> we'll write it. Just, write just, it. We'll write it in pen. <laughs> no permanent marker. We'll erase my name and put your name. In. <laughs> 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 and then you. And then you made the book, and you can be the one who put. I will be doing a book signing on Wednesday. Uh, uh, meet us at the uh, county library, uh, any county library. We'll just be there. wherever we'll tell. Tell us which county, and we'll. we'll be yeah, there. we'll be there. Just as long as you say there'll be punch and pie, we'll show up, or <laughs> I'll show up. And I might just eat the punch and pie. I might just bring my own punch and pie and just eat it loudly. You know what? <laughs> Invite me, and your library won't be boring anymore. I do tend to poop when I walk, though. 